Hi guys, Mr. Pash here, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the magic wand tool to help you edit out uh, very large, flat backgrounds instead of using the erasing tool, which might take some time. Magic wand tool just works with uh, sometimes just a couple clicks and it'll work for us here. So what we're going to do is go over to the top into our tools panel here. And we want to look for this object selection, which is also a really good tool to work with. And we want to click and hold and select right down here, magic wand. Notice that that shortcut key was W. Now when we start with um, editing some of the backgrounds, what we also notice here too is these little boxes right here, these are called smart objects and they don't allow you to erase right away. Uh, we'll get to knowing what those are in the future, but what we want to do right now is right click and hit rasterize. Rasterize means it just like pixelated it and it's going to let us have the opportunity to erase those pixels. Okay. I'm going to grab my move tool just for a second here just to show you the two different um, objects we have here. So I just decided to do a tree and here's a logo type of a tree and here's a tree uh, down below here that um, is a realistic tree with some sky background. So um, depending on the references you choose, you will have a good time with Magic Wand or a very difficult time. Basically what you guys want is a nice flat background. So if you guys are using any logos and you need to get rid of this background, Magic Wand is the tool for you. So I'm going to hit W and go right back to this Magic Wand. Watch what happens. I'm going to click in the white space. Okay, make sure I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> okay, let's hit Command D. Make sure you're on the right layer. I'm going to click in the white space. Now when you look closely, see that? Look at that. Selects really close to the edges there and even gets inside of here. Now, if you have these little openings, the selection will get in there. If it's trapped, like in these areas with the green, it won't get into the white areas there. You'll have to do some extra clicking. But right away, we can hit delete. And that background is now gone. Nice clean image. And so if we need to get into these areas, all we do is click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. And now we're left with the tree. Any other areas that you might have, like let me turn off this layer for a second, like the oak tree. We don't need that anymore. That's just, you know, you can click your eraser, make your brush size bigger. And let's see if we can delete that. Nope, can't delete it. Or we can grab our marquee rectangle select up there drag over it okay let's do that one more time so I don't grab any of those roots there okay select that portion and hit delete and it's gone now what we're left with hit my move tool just a nice simple graphic with a light background oh look at that guy that was hiding okay I see you buddy let's get you all right rectangular marquee delete Command or Control D to deselect. You don't want to keep your selections up after you're uh, done with it. And now you have a nice clean graphic. You can flip it, put it against any background, whatever you want to do with this, duplicate it, reflect it, whatever. Okay. So flat backgrounds is where we want to be at with the magic wand. Let's look at our realistic example here and select this guy. So you notice I picked a tree and the background of the sky is pretty flat. We get some clouds in here and that's going to cause us a little bit of issues, which we will see. But at least with this um, tree, you'll see how uh, Magic Wand works pretty well to get those edges. And there's lots of details around these edges and also in areas that it won't select. So I'm going to hit W again, grab that Magic Wand. I don't know why my window moved out. Let's see if I can expand that. Let's move this in. Kind of cut off for some reason. Um, and let's click in the sky. Okay. 
Now look at here, see how it kind of stopped in this section? Yes, it got around the edges pretty well, good. But it stopped right about here. This is where the gradient starts to you know, get a little bit lighter. If we want to add some strength in there, right up here, every time you guys grab a tool, you have some settings up here, but tolerance, if I can remember correctly, I believe if we lower it, no, let's see, lower it, will it select more? I, I think I'm wrong here. Yeah, no, it's gonna select less. Let's raise it up. It was at 30, let's go 50, do another click and see what happens. Okay, select a little bit more. Let's raise it up, see where we get. Sometimes it'll select too much. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Okay, didn't really cut off any of my trees here. Got around the clouds. Let's hit delete and see where we get. Okay, not too bad. I'm gonna hit Command or Control D to deselect. Now, the cool thing about this is it got the majority of the work done for us. Yes, there's some sky in between, but now what we can do is really hit the eraser. Let's see if the eraser works this time for me. There we go. And just kind of clean it up. So it, how I like to use it, especially if I have the right image and it's got a nice flat background, but I got some detail that I need to get around, you know, that I don't want to use my eraser for, you know, I can kind of select a large area and let Magic Wand do a lot of the processing and work. And then I just kind of do the leftover cleanup and get where I need to go, okay? So this is an eraser, okay? And just kind of do something. You can see that photo piece is a little laggy here, but left bracket and right bracket, those are shortcut keys to resize your brush. Left bracket will make it smaller right bracket will make it bigger it's a nice little pro tip for you guys okay and uh if you guys needed to or wanted to get in there with the sky hit w magic wand again i'm going to zoom in here and okay just kind of get in there see what selects we're not selecting too much of the tree and kind of get some of this blue out might start looking a little clunky here but whatever all right at least we're understanding what the magic wand tool does. Make sure you deselect after you're done. Command or Control D. And what we're left with, if we look at it kind of far away, and especially if we shrink it, you know, sometimes we don't see a lot of that choppiness. But you know, maybe we could use this for something, you know, a Y or whatever for the letter of our name. Or if we're compositing new landscapes, you know, we now added a tree and an open landscape that wasn't there before, okay? So that's how we use Magic Wand with two different references here. It's gonna work best for logos, just zapping that flat background right out of the way. And then it's gonna be a little bit trickier for realistic photos, but it can help us get um, to where we need to a little bit quicker than if we just use the eraser. So I hope that helped guys. Uh, again, that's magic wand and the shortcut key is W if you cannot find it in your toolbox. All right, take care.